<laughs> Welcome to Vernon Snowmax Season 5, Episode 16. In this episode, we're going to throw down some donut tips for you. We're going to give another quick saw appreciation moment, and we'll wrap things up with mock chicken. I can't keep my foot out of harm's way. It's so up for this turned out. <laughs> wow! Those are the best donuts I've ever done. My feet, were, I had to put my foot up in this spot because down here it kept getting ripped off by the snow so I put it right up there and try to touch the handlebars. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Awesome. Now I'm no amazing snow biker but I do love to do donuts and I think I'm getting them pretty figured out. I just wanted to give you a quick little Session of pointers, I guess, for those of you who are a little bit newer at this game. I've laid my bike over because this is simulating uh, doing a donut. And most people will find that they turn left better than right because you have your throttle here and it's nice and close. You can control it much better than if this was all reversed. So in this really deep snow, put, keeping my foot on the foot pegs is not an option. It's just going to get ripped off. Putting my foot down and out straight, parallel to the forks like you would on an enduro bike, also not an option. It's going to rip you wide open. So what, what I do is I get my foot right up here under the handlebars. I know I'm doing a really good turn of my foot touching the handlebars and it's in the safest spot. The other thing is if you look where I'm sitting, I'm actually sitting on the plastic on the side of my bike. I'm not even touching the seat with any part of my butt. So this is allowing me to really lay it over, do nice sharp turns. And of course you want to point with your chin just like anything with two wheels or a track and a ski. Point with your chin where you want to go so you're looking ahead and just lay it over and have lots of fun. First, second gear, and if you're lucky, maybe even get into third gear. In this snow, there's no way. I'm top of first gear and just having a party. As you can see, I've been having lots of fun trying those one-handed donuts. Um, when it comes together, it's it's easier than I would have thought. It's fun to watch when it doesn't pan out, <laughs> and it's fun to watch when it does pan out, we'll say that. And one of the things Andrew pointed out to me on the last ride is that I've been talking about putting your foot up under the handlebars, and that's still true, but it's even easier if you just take your foot and put it on top of the plastics. Yeah. It's in the right spot. It's out of harm's way. Now, you only have to do that when the snow is really deep. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be out there just parallel to that that fork. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. All right, that's enough for donuts. Uh, let's move on to the next segment. Yeah, let's have a quick peek at Scott stuffing himself under a log. This is why we make sure that we pack good gear like a good saw in the back. Yeah, I'm really glad that we have not just a, a saw, but we, we walked away from those folding saws where the blade is about this long. Yeah. And now we have a nice silky saw where the blade is this long. And it's when awesome. you're chopping a log that's that big around, it makes a big difference. Quick work. Let's take a look. Well, today I'm especially glad that I have my saw. I tried to get my ski to go over this log and it did not. So it is under the log. Huge, huge unstuck. Because if we have a great big saw and I gotta chop it up. That's all. 
Andrew's gonna come up and help me here just because there, this tree well is so deep I can see down like 15 feet. If I happen to fall down there while I'm doing any of this cutting, I'd want someone to help me get out. Cutting time. All right, the hard work is done. So let's cut that, face it down, good to go. Now for this final segment, let's see what Mock Chicken and Graham Haywood have sent us this time. That's a wrap for this episode. Uh, hey, uh, consider stopping by the actual website. Most people are watching these on YouTube or Facebook mm -hmm. or through Instagram, but the website's huge. It's got all of the videos we've ever shot. Well, most of them, even back to our snowmobiling days. And uh, many of the videos are sorted by category, keyword tag, so you can basically find whatever you're looking for. Hope you check it out. Thanks, folks. Oh.